What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching issue you're currently having with CoreKeeper. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what you do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It will really help me out and make my day and help me as a little YouTuber as I am. But without further ado, I don't want to waste any of your time anymore, let's get right started and right into the video. So the first thing I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto your windows sign or use your key on your keyboard. You're going to click onto settings and once you're at settings, I want you to navigate to update and security. It's going to sound a little bit basic guys, but trust me, it will reduce 90% of your problems and just solve 90% of your problems if you would just keep an eye on your updates, on your driver's updates. So I want you to check for your Windows updates in general because every single problems, problem which will occur or which, which you're currently having will be solved by just simply updating your Windows. So to check for updates, mine is checked last today at 11 a.m. So it's fine. Check for updates, download the latest version and this will be it. If we are at uh, security and windows, you're going to click on the troubleshoot as well. And you use your system or you're going to use your system in order to find any kind of issue or broken data, which is currently on your PC and it will be repaired or just removed. If you're finished with that, you can minimize or close the settings. For me, you're going to minimize it because we're going to need it afterwards. I want you now to do the same thing for your graphics card. So I want you to navigate to NVIDIA GeForce. If you're using NVIDIA, if you're using another application, you're going to navigate to another application. And I want you to simply download the latest version of your graphics card driver. Just because not every single game is going to stick to the older versions. They want you to update your driver's version and this will cause not launching in general and also further um, problems which will occur in the game. So trust me guys, download the latest version of your driver and it will be fine. So the next thing I want you to do is going to be to uh, take your uh, launcher shortcut. For me, it's Steam. It could also be Epic Games or EA because sometimes uh, games are cross-listed. So I want you to take your shortcut. You're going to right click it and navigate down to run as an administrator. You're going to left click that one. And this will basically lead your launcher to uh, run as an administrator. So start as an administrator. And once it is started, I want you to launch your game over the launcher and try to fix it by doing that. If does, this doesn't fix it, I want you to close the game again, close the launcher again. And I want you to right click your launcher again, go to properties to so the very bottom, click on that. This tab will pop, pop up. And now I want you to go to the right side from shortcut, you're going to click on the compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode. I want you to enable run this program in compatibility mode for it. Select the latest version, which you could select. So for me, it's Windows 8. Uh, disable the reduced color mode. Disable run in 640 by 480 screen resolution. Disable, disable full screen optimizations, as well as enable run this program as an administrator. I want you to click apply and OK. I won't click on apply, obviously, because I have already done it. So click on OK. Uh, now you need to restart your PC because afterwards you're going to see this little administrator symbol right onto your launcher. Um, and this will basically launch every time your launcher in administrator mode. So also every single game which is related to it. If this doesn't work, you're going to take your game shortcut on your desktop. You do the same thing with uh, going to properties and um, doing the same stuff again. Um, next thing I want you to show is going to be to open up your settings again by if you close it, go to Windows symbol and click on settings or just open it up. Go back to main settings. I want you to navigate onto system, stick around display where I want you to identify your main monitor. Obviously, if you have one monitor, there is only one to choose. If you have two, you're going to choose the main monitor, identify it, scroll down. Once you did that, just scroll down, go to scale and layout. We want you to change the size of text apps and either other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So for example, if you have an in game like 1720 by 1070, I want you to uh, simply change it to your in game resolution um, to minimize your um, not launching or launching issue. So next thing I want you to do is going to go to co power and sleep. What I want you to do here is going to be to click on to additional power settings. We hit that. So um, this one will pop up and now it's different for every single PC. I want you to simply 
try it out so for me it's balance for some ones uh, for some people it's high performance and for some also it is an initial plan you just need to check it for yourself and check which is running better on your device you're gonna end this one go to storage hit onto the blueprinted text where it says configure storage sensor run it now and now you need to just copy my settings run a storage sense every week you're gonna obviously turn this on delete temporary files that my apps aren't using 14 days 60 days as it says right here this will, if you cl click on clean now, will delete every single temporary file that your apps aren't using. So you're going to get rid of that and get more storage. So once you finish with that, I want you to go back once, go back twice. I want you to click on to gaming. Once you're gaming, you're going to go to stick around Xbox game bar. What I want you to do here is really simple. I want you to turn this off because the Xbox game bar is just going to suck a lot of performance and you need those performance or this performance in your game, especially in a low end or bad PC. It will really cause your game to not launch, to crash if it's launching. So just keep in mind that this should be turned off. And once you've finished with that, I want you to click onto captures. This will take quite a while. And if you're on captures i want you to go to background recording go to record in the background while i'm playing in a game and obviously guys please turn this off and check if this is turned off once in a while because i mean i don't need to explain it. if you're recording something your your performance will suck a lot if, especially in bad pcs or low-end pcs so just keep in mind that this should be turned off um same thing for your audio just don't record your audio it will just take a lot of performance you don't need that you need it while playing the game and same thing if you want to uh record something you're going to use obs or another application but not windows for that just keep that in mind so next thing i want you to do is going to be to click on the game mode uh what i want you to do here is also really tricky i can't really generalize it and say like you need to turn this on or off it's really different for every single pc so i want you to check it for yourself you just need to turn it on uh and look which is running better so on or off and once you finish with that I want you to um, end your settings. Uh, next or last thing I want you to do, or no, not really last thing, but the next thing is going to be to right click your task uh, bar. You're going to click on task manager. Once your task manager pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, check if you have processes. And now I want you to end every single task, which is currently having too much CPU or GPU usage. It will be a background process, could be an app. But uh, if you see, and it's not related to your um, Windows or something like that, you're going to right click it and you're going to click on end task. Once you're finished with that and it's fine with your GPU and CPU usage, I want you to go again, top left corner, click on to details. And now you need your app to run for that or especially run in the background. If you have the problem that your app isn't showing up, but it's running in the background, this is perfect for you. Uh, I've not started it now, but it doesn't really matter. Just do the same thing to your application, which I'm doing to um, Adobe Premiere Pro. You're going to right click it, click on the set priority. And now I want you to do either high or reality or real time, because it depends on your device, on your PC, which is working better. It will just set your priority where your performance goes from PC right into your game. Once you're finished with that, I want you to click on the store up. What you're going to do with store up is really simple. Um, this is auto store up. So when your PC starts, there are a lot of apps which are starting by itself. And you don't, don't want that because they're running in the background. This will just lead to less performance. You want to click on every single app which you don't want to store it in the background or run in the background. You're going to click right click and click to like on this one. Click on disable. Do this to every single app which you don't want to run in the background, which you can reduce your GPU usage or CPU usage. And afterwards, you can end this task. So if I could help you out of this video, guys, I would really, really uh, thank you. If you could just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel, it would really help me out and just make my day a lot. And um, if you have any question, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will read all of them and just try to answer them if I can. And if not, check out my other videos. I uploaded a lot of stuff for other games if you have any problem with that. So um, I wish you a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye guys.